Let's begin today coming into a child's pose. Sit on your heels, knees apart, forehead on your mat. And extend your arms forward. Now I want this to be a passive child's pose. So just release your arms, no tension. You can have your palms facing down or facing up. Notice your shoulders and start to relax the shoulders a little bit more. Noticing your breath and breathing slowly in and out through the nose. Maybe give your forehead a nice massage. Sway your forehead from right to left. and find stillness. See if you can bring your sits bones closer to your heels. And don't worry, if your hips are really lifted, if you're super tight in this position, wherever your body is today, just honor it. Each day is a practice. Some days your body might feel tighter than others. Some days you might feel stronger than other days. And all of that is okay. Take another deep inhale through your nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Two more times, inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Last one, inhale through your nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Now sealing your lips, slowly walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Opening up your right rib cage. Try to keep your right hip low and focus on the reach of the opening of the right side of the body. So we're stretching out the intercostals. Take another inhale and exhale, release, going over to the other side, crawl your hands over to the right, open up your left rib cage, push your left hip down, reach a little bit more with your left arm, inhale and exhale slowly, coming back to center and let's come onto our hands and knees for cat cow. So stacking your shoulders over your wrist, legs are hip width distance apart, neutral spine. And when you're ready, inhale, arch the spine, bring your chin up. Exhale, round your spine, bring the chin to chest. Inhale, arch the spine, chin up. Exhale, round. Two more times, inhale, arch the spine, chin up. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale, arch the spine, chin up, and exhale round. Start to move a few rounds at your own pace. Feel free to sway your hips, maybe move your shoulders, maybe rotate the wrist, and your eyes can be closed here. Listening to the body to awaken the body and awaken the spine, whatever feels good for you today. We'll take a few more breaths. Take one more inhale. And exhale, coming back to center. We're gonna thread the needle. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Thread it underneath your left shoulder. Bring your right cheek down on your mat. And from here, you can extend your left arm to the top of the mat or bring it behind your back in a half bind. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And 
exhale, slowly coming back to center, reach your right arm all the way up, and then place your right hand down. Second side, inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky, thread it underneath the right shoulder, left cheek comes down on your mat. Whatever variation you took on the other side with your left hand, left arm, do it here as well with the right, so maybe extend it towards the top of your mat or maybe a half bind with the right arm behind your back. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale slowly, coming back to center, reach that left arm all the way up and place your left hand back down. Inhale, extend your right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, round your spine, bring the elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Release. Second side, inhale. Left arm reaches forward, right leg back. Exhale, round your spine, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Release. Tuck your toes downward, facing dog. Lift your hips nice and high. Pedal through your legs. Spread those fingers wide. Maybe shake your head yes and no. If you're super tight in your legs, feel free to have a soft bend in your knees and tilt your pelvis up. Continue to press away from the mat. We're trying to find a nice flat back, a nice alignment. Find stillness. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale. On your next inhale, look forward, walk your feet towards your hands and fold over your legs. Ragdoll position, so keep the soft bend in your knees, grab opposite elbows, and maybe sway gently from side to side. Head is nice and heavy. Coming back to center, releasing your arms and slowly rise one vertebra at a time. Allow your head to be last. Arms down by your side, Tadasana. Make sure you're at the top of your mat and your legs are hip width distance apart. Arms are relaxed down, relax those shoulders. Bring your hands together at heart center. Close your eyes, take a moment, notice where your weight is shifted. Are you pressing more through your heel or your toes? Maybe more from the outside or the inside of your feet. Just start to gently rock back and forth and find your center of gravity. And then when you do find stillness, take one more inhale and exhale. Surya Namaskar, you can open your eyes here. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back, low runner's lunge. Left foot steps back, high plank. Drop the knees, chin, chest, tug your elbows and gaze forward. Baby cobra, bring your pelvis all the way down. Neck is neutral, no weight on your palms. With each inhale, lift your chest as you push your pelvis against the earth. Squeeze the thighs and glutes. Take one more inhale and lift. Exhale, release, bring your forehead down. Move through a child's pose, sit on your heels, knees apart, forehead on your mat, round your spine. Downward facing dog, lift your hips all the way up. And breathe, inhale. 
Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step or hop forward. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise to stand, arms reach up, push your hips forward, gently arch the back. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back, low runner's lunge. Right foot steps back, high plank. Chaturanga this time, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, tops of the feet on your mat, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips nice and high. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step or hop forward. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, arms down by your side. Feet together, toes touching. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, weight is in your heels. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step up or jump, take it back, chaturanga. Move through your flow. You can always drop the knees, chin, chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, right leg nice and high. Bend the knee, open up your hip. Keep the weight even in both of your hands. Maybe circle the ankle. Re-straighten your legs. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Left foot comes down. Your foot is at an angle. Press through that heel. Arms reach up. Maybe your palms are touching. Maybe you're gazing up to the sky. Sink into that right hip. One more inhale. And exhale, hands down. Right foot steps back. Option three-legged chaturanga with the right leg lifted. Lower halfway. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Second side. Inhale, left leg nice and high. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Keep the weight even in both of your hands. Maybe circle the ankle. Restraighten your legs. Step your left foot forward, warrior one. Right heel comes down, arms up to the sky. Hips face forward. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, release, hands down, left foot steps back. Option three, legged chaturanga with the left leg lifted, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take five breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Bend your knees. Inhale. Step or hop forward. Exhale. Release. Fold over your legs. Inhale. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Tuck your tailbone. Weight is in your heels. Stand all the way up, arms down by your side, Tadasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, push your hips forward, gently arch the back. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back, low runner's lunge. Drop your right knee, untuck the toes, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up, sink forward into your hips. Exhale, hands down, right knee lifts. Twist to the left, inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left hand comes down. Left foot steps back, high plank. And flow, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale.
exhale. Inhale, step your right foot forward, low runner's lunge. Drop your left knee, untuck the toes, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up, sinking forward into your hips. Exhale, hands down, left knee lifts. Twist to the right. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, right hand comes down. Left foot steps forward, fold, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise to stand, arms reach up, push your hips forward, gently arch the back. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back, low runner's lunge. Drop your left knee, untuck the toes, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up, sinking forward. Exhale, hands down, left knee lifts. Right foot steps back, high plank. Chaturanga, lower halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left foot steps forward, low runner's lunge. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes, crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up, sink forward. Exhale, hands down, right knee lifts. Right foot steps forward, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise to stand, arms reach up. Exhale, arms down by your side. And just breathe, inhale. Exhale. Take a few more breaths and listen to your body. If your heart rate is lifted, just continue to focus on just breathing in and out through the nose in Ujjayi breath, deep inhales and exhales. One more breath. And release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, release, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step hopper, jump, take it back, chaturanga, move through your flow. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. So remember, upward facing dog, inhale, shoulders away from your ears. Downward facing dog, hips are nicely lifted. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg nice and high. Step your right foot forward, low runner's lunge. Now we're going to take our time here this time. Twist to the right. Reach the right arm all the way up. Press through your right foot, your left heel, and your left toe mounds. Try to keep your hips facing down at the, and that the twist is happening in the navel, in the spine. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, release. Right hand comes down. Drop your left knee, untuck the toes. And this time you have the option to use your blocks for a modified crescent lunge. So if you're using your blocks, grab your blocks, place them in front of you, creating sort of a box. You can bring them as close to you as you need, but continue to push your pelvis forward and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Left leg is nicely extended towards the back. If you don't want to use your blocks, you can place your hands, or if you don't have any blocks, you can place your hands on your right thigh, or you can reach your arms up to the sky. If your arms are lifted, see if you can find the back of the room. Push your hips forward, one more inhale. And exhale, release your hands down. If you're using your blocks, just extend your right leg. So you're just gonna bring your hips back for a half split. Straighten your right leg, point your toes towards your face and release your head. If you have a frontal split that you would like to practice, feel free to move into it now, slowly allowing your right heel to lead the way forward. If you don't, like I do in this moment, feel free to remain in your half split. Take one more breath and exhale. We'll all release, rebending the right knee, sinking forward into your hips once again. 
left palm remains on your mat and be slightly above the left kneecap. So we're going to twist to the right and try to grab the left foot with the right hand. Gently pulling in the leg, bringing your heel closer to your buttocks as you start to stretch out your quads. As an option, your left forearm can come down onto the mat and just open up that hip a little bit, the right hip, as you move deeper into this twist and the stretch of your left quad. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, we'll all release, lifting your left knee up. Step your left foot forward, fold over your legs, and shake off the legs. Place your palms down on your mat. Step your feet back into a high plank. We're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Shoulders are pressed away from your ears. Press through your toes and your toe mounds. Fire up your belly. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, just come into a downward facing dog. Lift your hips all the way up. Notice if your legs are getting a little bit more open, if they're stretching out really nicely. If you're still super tight, feel free to bend your knees and tilt your pelvis up. Take one more breath. And release. Second side, inhale, left leg nice and high. Step your left foot forward, coming into your low runner's lunge. Right palm remains on the mat. We're going to twist now to the left. Left arm goes all the way up. Making sure that you're pressing through your left foot. Your right heel, your right toe mounds, right leg is energetic. Hips are facing down. One more inhale. And exhale, release your left hand down on your mat. Drop your right knee, untuck the toes, and then coming into the crescent lunge. So if you used your blocks on the other side, use them here as well. Or whatever variation you took, maybe your arms are reaching to the sky, you're trying to find the back of the room, or your hands are on your left thigh. Just continue to push your hips forward. If your hands are on your blocks, keep your shoulders away from your ears, or if they're on your thigh as well. Take one more breath, inhale. And exhale, half split, bringing your hips back and extend your left leg. Point your toes towards your face and release your head down. If you have a frontal split, moving into it now, allowing your left heel to lead the way. Slowly moving into it. And if not, you can just stay right here with me. One more breath. And we'll release, rebending the left knee, coming forward once again into your hips. Right palm remains on your mat. Sink forward into your hips and bend the right knee. Try to be slightly above the right kneecap. Otherwise, it's going to be painful and it can also cause, well, not just discomfort. You want to protect your knees. And then twisting to your left, grab your right foot with your left hand, slowly pulling in your right foot. Bring that heel closer to your buttocks. If you took the variation on the other side, feel free to move into it here, bringing your right forearm down on your mat and then allowing the left hip to open. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath, inhale. And exhale, we'll all release. Low runner's lunge, right knee lifts. Right foot steps forward, fold over your legs and shake off your legs. Let's come for a moment into Malasana. Step your feet as wide as your mat. Come into your squat position, hands at heart center, press your elbows against your thighs. As an option, if you're really tight and you're lifted, feel free to use your block and sit on your block. Keep pushing your hips open. Tuck your tailbone. And breathe, inhale. Exhale. 
Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's release the hands down. Lift your hips all the way up. Shake off those legs once again. Hands down on your mat. Step your feet back to high plank. Come into a forearm plank. Right forearm, left forearm. Press on your toe mounds. Shoulders away from your ears. Try not to have your hips too high or too low. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Drop your knees down on your mat, keeping your legs together. Child's pose. Arms down by your side to relax your shoulders and forehead on your mat. Take a few more breaths. One more inhale. And exhale. Coming back to your downward facing dog, lift the hips all the way up. And we're going to just take a moment here before we transition into our next asana. Take one more inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, walk your hands towards your feet, towards the back of your mat, and fold over your legs. Slowly rising all the way up to stand, arms down by your side. So coming towards the middle of your mat, and if you have two blocks, this is a good opportunity to use both of your blocks. If you don't have any blocks, that's okay. It just might be a little bit more tighter. I know that the blocks can help you facilitate to bring the ground closer to you. And just be mindful in any asana that you take, you want to take things slow. So from here, you're going to place your blocks in front of you, sort of creating a box so that they're at shoulder width distance apart and not too far ahead from you. We're going to do a variation of tree pose. So we're going to start with the right foot, placing your right foot inside your inner left hip crease. So in front of your thigh, really, really high up as high as you can. And then the higher the right knee, the tighter your hip is. So if you're feeling it here already, a stretch, you can stay right here and just hold on to your right foot using your left hand. For those that wish to move deeper, looking down, coming up onto your left tippy toes, bending your left knee and gently folding over your legs, placing your hands on the blocks. If you don't have blocks and you're placing your, your fingertips onto your mat, you can always see if you can grab something in your home that can bring the ground closer to you. Maybe a few books, anything, a box, anything that might just help you if you are really tight in this position. For those that wish to move deeper, coming into a toe stand. So you're going to lower your hips and place your hips onto your left heel and you're going to face forward. This is why using your blocks is a good opportunity to, to have them so that you can still hold on to something and try to lengthen your spine. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and find your drishti, your focal points on your third eye or an object that is not moving. If you decide that this is too intense to move into a toe stand, always hang back. There's always options for each level. Take a few more breaths wherever you are. Inhale. 
exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to slowly release, if possible, coming out of the pose the way you came in. However, if you're really, really tight and lifting up is not the best option for you today, which happens to me many times, you can lean forward and then release your, your legs coming onto your knees and then have a seat on your mat to release the legs and shake them off. Then coming back into a standing position. Great, so now we're gonna move into our second side. Remember placing your blocks in front of you if you're using blocks and if not, just be mindful as you move deeper. So it's a great example. We're gonna place our left foot in front of our inner right hip crease. And the left side is usually very, very tight for me. So the left knee is usually really lifted and I know my limitations. I work with the limitations of my body. One day my body will open up or maybe it won't, but I accept where I am today. So wherever you are today, that's great. And now when we're gonna move deeper, feel free to move deeper. So we're not symmetrical. One side is tighter than the other or can be like I am today. Looking down, coming up onto the right tippy toes, bend the right knee, fold over the legs, placing your hands on your blocks or maybe fingertips on the mat. If you're moving deeper, feel free to come, in, come into your toe stand. So lower the hips onto the right heel, face forward, relax the shoulders. Maybe your hands can come to heart center or maybe your hands remain on your blocks or just down by your side. Remember you're working against gravity, so you're going to try to energetically keep that spine lifted, energetically moving up. Two more breaths. One more inhale. And exhale, let's release. Coming out of the pose, choose either coming out of it the way you went in or leaning forward, placing the knee down, release the other leg, and then have a seat, release the legs forward, shake them off. Excellent. So today we're gonna do also another option. I'm going to lead you into a headstand. Now I'm aware that you're watching this uh, via your, your phone or your computer. So just let me demo first, watch your screen for a moment. If you know how to come into your headstand, feel free to just move into it, whether you need a wall or not. So for those that are beginners, I'm going to show you as a beginner to come in to a headstand using wall space. If you don't feel ready to do a headstand today, feel free to take a moment to just come onto your mat, lie down, and find a pose that feels good for you. Otherwise, for those that are moving into the headstand, let's go. So I'm gonna be close to the wall, making sure that my arms are shoulder width distance apart, palms are together, interlacing the fingers, and then you're gonna place you're gonna come as close to the mat as, um, excuse me, you're gonna come as close to the wall as possible. Crown of the head is gonna come onto the mat. And what you want to do is you want to stack everything up. The goal is to get your spine, your, your neck, your spine, your hips, your legs stacked above each other. So when you place the crown of the head onto the mat, Bring your legs into a downward dog position. Lift your hips nice and high. This time you're not bending your knees, but you're focusing on the hips being nice and high. You're gonna walk your feet as close to your body as possible. And then you're going to slowly lift up one leg and then bring both legs up to the wall. And remember the wall is there to catch you. If you don't feel safe, if you don't feel ready, 
I would advise then to not come into the pose. But if you're in the pose, if you're able to do your headstand and you're using the wall and you feel safe, just make sure that you're not sinking into your shoulders. Always protect the shoulder girdle, protect your neck as well. Press on your forearms. See if you can balance, right? Maybe one foot away from the wall. Let's take a few more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale. Now to come out of it, you can tuck your knees into the chest and come down or slowly pike and come all the way down onto your mat. Come into a child's pose. Sit on your heels, knees apart, forehead on your mat. Your arms can be forward or down by your side. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now rolling yourself up. Have a seat on your mat. Release your legs forward. Shake off the legs. Hug the knees into the chest. And let's roll onto our backs. Massage the spine. Sway a little bit from right to left. And come back to center. Let's move into bridge pose. Feet on your mat. Legs are hip width distance apart. Feet close to your body. Arms down by your side. On your inhale, lift your hips nice and high. Press the ground away through your heels. And bring your arms underneath. Try to get your shoulder blades to touch. Continue to push your mat with your heels. Keep lifting your hips. One more inhale. And exhale, descend and release, arms down. Windshield wipe your legs from right to left, release any tension off the lower back. Coming back to center. Spinal twist on your back, hug the knees into the chest. Allow your knees to fall over towards your right and bring your gaze over towards your left. Arms are extended. Maybe your right hand is on your thighs for support. One more inhale. And exhale. Let's switch sides. Knees over to the left. Gaze over to your right. Arms are extended. Maybe your left hand is on your thighs for support. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly coming back to center. Hug the knees into the chest one more time. Give it a good squeeze. Try to bring your forehead onto your knees. And release in final Shavasana. Let it go. Let your legs go. Arms down by your side. Palms face up. Stillness in the mind, body, and heart for the next few minutes.
Slowly start to bring your awareness back into your space and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Extend your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice deep stretch. Hug the knees into the chest and roll over towards your right in a fetal position. And slowly rise into a comfortable seat with your eyes closed for final meditation. We'll bring our hands together at heart center. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale for Om. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.